Studio 10 Kitchen with Lucy Greer finishing up our dish for today. Mm -hmm. Red beans and rice with Kanaka sausage. Yes, we started out with a pound and we cooked that for about five minutes over mm -hmm. medium high heat and got a little bit of color on it. And then we added a couple teaspoons of syrup. I used alaga today, but you could use whatever you have on hand. Mm -hmm. And then I added in one onion that was finely chopped, one green bell pepper, and three ribs of celery. And I just continue cooking that over medium high heat. And as you can see, the vegetables have had a chance to soften. And all of the bits on the bottom, we have pulled up with our spoon. So Alaga, an Alabama product, Connect mm -hmm. Sausage, an Alabama product, and you mentioned that you often get your produce uh, from Victory Teaching Farm and other sources here locally, so a yes. very local dish today. Definitely, it really is, um, and it's fun to use local products and support um, our state or our community. So now I'm going to add, well, I'll add our spices first. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of dried sage. Mm -hmm. A quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and that's optional. It's going to have some heat, so if you do not want to be knocked away, you don't have to add any cayenne. <laughs> and then I added half a teaspoon of dried thyme and a couple teaspoons of Creole seasoning, whichever one you like. But does the cayenne go with your spicy personality? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely goes with yours. <laughs> um, so you mentioned this is one of your favorite dishes. Do you remember first having red beans and rice or someone who made it for you? Or why is this one of your favorite dishes? Yeah, I do. It's funny that you asked because when I told my mom what I was making, she said, are you using Papa's recipe? Mm. And that was her dad, um, my grandfather, who made red beans and rice. And um, this is definitely a takeoff of his. I've added a few more things. Like I said, it's um, super simple to put together and his was even more simple. Um, so I just added some veggies to it. So yeah, I remember him making it. We would always go over there for supper. He was a great cook, really, really good. And my grandmother, Posey, who's been on before, yes. um, was the baker in the family. So I really got my love of cooking, I think, from him. I would get to hang out in the kitchen. Not everybody got to hang out in the kitchen. Ooh, you were special. I was special. <laughs> he was actually a cook um, in the Army. So, oh, very cool. Yes, so that um, is very special. So I think that's where I got where I like to cook from. So I just added a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce and I'm adding three cans of kidney beans. Mm -hmm. I drain just one can, this can, um, okay. and then just add the juice from the other two. So gotcha. like I said, it's super simple. At this point, we're just going to bring it up to a boil and then reduce it to simmer and just let it cook for about 20 minutes or until you're ready to have supper. And if you really want to be quick, then you'll get some um, boil in a bag rice, which I like to use. <laughs> and then supper will be on the table in no time. You know, they even have microwave <laughs> rice. Now. That would be even easier. Nine, 90 yes, seconds. you can do that. Pretty impressive. <laughs> so grab some rice and supper's <laughs> ready. <laughs> Sounds great. Well, this recipe looks fantastic. If you want to take a look at Lucy's grandfather's recipe with a Lucy Greer <laughs> twist to that. We have it online on our Studio 10 tab on fox10tv.com. And one last quick reminder to tell the folks coming out tomorrow night to Victory Teaching Farm. Mm -hmm. uh, tell them one more time where and when that is so they can get tickets. It is at the farm on Rickerby Place. And if you just Google um, Victory Teaching Farm, it'll have all of the details. If there's still tickets, you can get them at the door tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But um, you better go online tonight and, or today and get some. It's tomorrow at 530. Local chefs yeah. using local farm produce. You absolutely do not want to miss it. Go check that out. Thanks as always, Lucy. Thank you.